Selena Quintanilla was born in Lake Jackson, Texas on April 16, 1971. As a child, Selena's singing inspired her father to create a family band. The band Selena y los Dinos started when Selena was just nine years old. The dad would make them perform at the family's restaurant called Papagayos in Lake Jackson, Texas. But when that restaurant closed, they moved to Corpus Christi and the band would perform in street corners, weddings, carnivals, wherever the band was received. Although her first language was English, Selena learned to sing Spanish phonetically and perform Tejano music with her family all across Texas. Tejano music literally means Tex-Mex, and it's usually either music that has originated in the Latino community in Texas or right across the border in Mexico. In 1987, Selena won Best Female Vocalist and Performer of the Year at the Tejano Music Awards. She later signed with Capital EMI, releasing her album, Ven Conmigo, the first Tejano record to ever go gold. After winning the award in 1987 for Best Female Vocalist, Selena went on to win the award about eight more times. Selena married her lead guitarist, Chris Perez, in 1992. And the following year, her album, Selena Live, won Best Mexican American Album at the 36th Grammy Awards. The Selena Live album was a huge success with both fans and critics because it literally introduced to the world an amazing Latina star. Selena was talented, she was beautiful, she was charming. And when people heard her music in America, they started realizing there was something special. Selena's 1994 album, Amor Prohibido, went gold. And that year, Selena saw her greatest success, winning six awards from Billboard's Premio Lo Nuestro. Amor Prohibido was a landmark album for Selena because it sparked big hits. The album itself was nominated for a Grammy, and it received a number of honors. On March 31, 1995, Selena was shot and killed by Yolanda Saldivar, the president of her fan club. Her posthumous triple platinum album, Dreaming of You, debuted at number one on the Billboard charts. And in 1997, the biopic feature film Selena grossed more than $60 million. Even though Selena died, her memory and her music still live on. She was the beginning of a revolution, and we see it in today's music business, where Latin music is part of the mainstream.